फोर्स एफ इज इक्वल टू A force F is equal to 40 I plus 10 J acts on the body of mass 5 kilogram. If the body starts from rest, its position vector R at time t is equal to 10 seconds will be its position vector R. Okay. Very straightforward question based on the application of um, um, equations of motion. So we have F is equal to 40 I plus 10 J. So what is S is equal to U T plus half A T square. All in vector notation. So since this body starting from rest, the initial velocity vector will be equal to zero. So all we have is s is equal to half a t square. What is a? A is f by m. What is f given to us as forty i plus ten j? So this becomes forty i plus ten j divided by m. M is five kilogram. It is five. So two into five is ten. Ten t square. At the at the time t is equal to ten seconds. So t square will be ten square. So ten square is hundred. Two into five is ten. Hundred by ten is ten. Ten into forty would be four hundred. Ten into ten would be hundred. So displacement vector s is equal to four hundred i plus hundred j. Okay. I don't think I have all the options here. So the correct option would be four hundred i plus hundred j. Let us go one step further in this question. Why? Um, because most of the time uh, there is a trend in you know these kind of questions. So similar questions do come up. So let's see. If vector s can be written as s x i plus s y j, it actually means that the x component of this displacement vector is equal to s x i, and the y component of this displacement vector, vector s in the y component is s y into j. In fact, if you write this even further, what is magnitude of s in the x direction? It is s x, and what is magnitude of s in the y direction? It is s y. And what is vector s? The magnitude of vector s is equal to root of s x square plus s y square. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so let's now discuss the next question. <laughs>